So let's take a quick look at these SEMrush pricing plans as well as compare these SEMrush Pro versus Guru pricing plans given the fact those are probably most of the popular plans they've got going on. First and foremost, before I start talking about the pricing, I do want to let you know that you can actually try them for free. So you can sign up for free and you can also get a free trial where you can test out a lot of these great features. I will leave my affiliate link in the description. So if you want to get up and running and started quicker, feel free to use that. So. As you can see here, right off the bat, Pro is going to be $129.95 monthly. Guru is going to be $249.95 monthly. And then Business is going to be $499.95 monthly. Now, if you want to save up to 17%, you can pay annually and go like that. And you're going to notice how the prices change. Nevertheless, let's go back and talk about these. So as it talks about right here, for newbies and small teams, I completely agree. So aside from that, this is anyone going to be who say maybe is just getting started with SEO, just getting started started with their website just getting up and running maybe you don't you do have an, a website but you don't have many articles on it you haven't generated a lot of cash or commissions or ad revenue from your website yet this is going to be perfect for you with this when it comes to the core of this you get five projects 500 keywords to track and 10,000 results per report which in my opinion if you are a beginner that's going to be more than enough 500 keywords to track also is pretty decent if you ask me so when it comes to the SEO, PPC, and research tools, you get competitor analysis, which is fantastic. Keyword analysis, which is also fantastic. I did tutorial videos on both of those. You get website audit, backlink and analysis, advertising tools, and more. So as you can see, the difference here is going to be not only you get an increase, so you get triple the amount here for all of these here, for projects, keywords to track. You get all the previous pro perks here, but now you also get content marketing toolkit so if you want to do more than just seo this is also what it's going to be geared towards so you could technically be a smaller website but also want to use their content marketing toolkit and go above and beyond what your website's going to be doing that's also going to be a reason why you'd want to use guru you also get historical data we can look back much further to get even more data if you need that multi-location and device tracking looker studio integration and more and as you can see, this is going to go up as well. Share a voice, extended limits. And in case you're not familiar with this, this is pretty much just saying like, what percentage are you ranking for? It's a nice little vanity vanity metric, in my opinion, where the higher it is, the better it's going to be. If you have a larger share of voice, that means you're pretty much taking up more of Google and you're doing well. Nevertheless, that's just kind of my quick definition of it. If we go down right here, we can compare plans. So what we talked about before with projects, keywords to track, and the keyword domain and backlink analytics, they all get those, which is great. This is going to be historical data. So if we go over it, Go back in time and gain insight into you or your competitor's website's performance with SEMrush historical data gathered since 2012. That's right around when I started online marketing, ironically enough. So that's a lot of data. If that's going to be a big reason for you to like want to use SEMrush, then obviously comparing Pro to Guru, you might want to go with Guru there. Okay. Also with the content marketing platform, Looker Studio integration. I am not too familiar with what this is. I haven't used it personally, but that is going to be something... And then there's going to be the share of voice metric, the traffic percentage for your domain, pretty much. That's very close to my definition overall, and that's going to be only in the business plan. All right, and when you're looking at this, once again, historical data is going to be in the two uh, biggest plans here, Guru and Business. If you're looking at product listing ads, it's just going to be in business. Aside from that, you're just going to notice how these pretty much increase as you go. So if you need more results per report, if you need more reports per day, or if you just need keyword metrics updates per month, if you need more of those, then obviously it's really going to depend on what you're looking for. Once again, pretty straightforward. If you're a beginner or newbie, this is going to be where it's at for you. Okay, then we have project features. I'm not going to go over too many of these as we also see these before, like keywords to track and so on and so forth, pages to crawl per month and per project. Then we have some other things. This is good because they all are included there. Pages per OTI campaign, the maximum number of most visited pages for which you can get data for each organic traffic insights campaign. So 30, 40, 50, not a huge jump in between, but nevertheless, we have reporting, not a whole lot going on when it comes to the reporting for the basic plan, but Five scheduled PDF reports isn't too bad. You also get template sharing. This is going to be increasing as you go up. And of course, with the content marketing platform, probably the biggest reason aside from being a newbie, like say if you're not a newbie, you have a little bit more, is going to be the ability to be able to use some of these. So you get topics to research. The total number of topics that you can generate content ideas for is going to be unlimited, which is good. You get some SEO content templates and plagiarism checks per month. Aside from that, SEMrush does come with the ability to add extras. Should you want to add an additional user, you can do that. It's going to depend on which plan you're using, okay? Uh, aside from that, 
If you're local, this is something you might be interested in, but if you're not, then you know, probably not for you with the basic and the premium plan. If you're looking for trends, okay, so it uses these four powerful competitive research tools. You get Market Explorer, Traffic Analytics, One to Target, and Ion. Overall, if you're looking to, you know, stand up to date when it comes to finding what's going to be the best strategies in terms of what people are searching for, that's something that you can go with. There's SEMrush Social, where you can boost your brand's social media visibility and reputation if that's something you're looking for. Once again, if you're a newbie, a solopreneur might not be for you as much, but an option, of course. And if you're an agency, this is going to be some features that you can tack on. And last but not least is going to be Impact Hero, an AI tool that breaks down your content by buyer, journey stages, detects the most impactful copy, and gives tips on reinforcing your efforts. So as you can see in terms of the comparison, pretty straightforward. I like the fact that they're at least not a credit system compared to one of their biggest competitors. Their pricing plans are pretty straightforward. And it's more of if you want to add additional features, you can do that, but very Pretty simply stated, for newbies and small teams, Pro is going to be a great place to get started. If you're an agency or a business, or maybe you want some of the content marketing toolkit features, that's going to be good for you. And for those much bigger businesses who are up and running, doing very well, have big websites, big authority, and so on and so forth, business is most likely going to be for you. And last but not least, in case you forgot, you can pay annually and save up to 17%. So that's going to be an overview of these SEMrush pricing plans and some of the breakdowns, especially when it comes to comparing SEMrush Pro versus Guru. If you would like to check them out, once again, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial for SEMrush. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.